Welcome back to Coyote Classics. Today, Chad and I are gonna be checking out and test driving this uh, built 1976 Chevy Camaro. Now this is a fun car to drive and cocky looking too. All blacked out, shaved door handles. Under the hood, we have a built small block, aluminum heads, headers, Edelbrock intake. Uh, nice electric serpentine. fans on a switch on there, so we could. I just shut that off, so you could. Mm -hmm. Enough talk over that. Nice serpentine belt system. What do you think of this? Isn't it badass? It's a cool car. It cleaned up nice. It's fast too. Um, I guarantee you, there's never a 1976 Camaro or even 70. Five, four, three, two, that were as fast as this thing from the factory. No, I agree. This thing's a lot of fun to drive. And a four speed manual, which just adds an extra smile when you're driving it. Well, the biggest thing with me on this one, Dalton, I mean, it's got like that resto mod look with wheels and shaved mm -hmm. door handles, but that's it. Mm -hmm. Factory dash and all the factory gauges work. Factory nice. tack, everything. I mean, it's super clean car. Very nice. And uh, we couldn't decide what we really wanted to, to do on the wheels. We, we kind of like these, but the good thing is if, if you're watching this and, and you're interested in buying the car, you know, you can, you can make it your own style with different wheels, but yeah. I kind of like these. It, it goes good with the theme of the car, but that's always easily changed. Yeah, they're center lines and they came with it, right? So, um, but look at the, the shine that this paint has. I mean- We didn't buff it either, D. No. So if a guy wants to polish it and wax it a little bit, you know, it'll even be that much nicer. Super straight. And this one, um, I decoded the trim tag today. It was built in a Los Angeles plant. It's probably why it's so solid. California yeah. car, probably. Yeah, really solid underneath. Uh, the other thing is, you know, it's got the cowl hood and I, it's got the low back spoiler. And for me, the low back spoiler really makes these Camaros. Yeah, you I You don't agree. see many 76s with the low back on it, no. you know? I like the low back. I'll let you do this. Do you one. really? Is that really how you feel? Low about back. It? I do. Those are my favorite on even the 70 to 73s. <laughs> All right. So you went through the front already. Um, even though this has got a fiberglass hood, right? Um, the springs work great in it. And look how it fits in the back, both sides. I mean, it just fits perfect. One other thing that me and Dalton were talking about, I'm like, man, what about some white stripes on this thing? You you turned it down. Mm -hmm. I thought white stripes would look awesome too. Mm -hmm. but it would. There again, something you can do, put some white stripes and raise white letter tires, it's a whole different car. Yeah. All right, so they did do a light rock guard on the very, very bottom, uh, three inches, which is kind of nice. Um, we just did a Camaro that way. It was done like that 20 years ago. And it just makes sure that everything is nice and solid, doesn't chip up so bad, especially if you're gonna drive them with these wider rims and tires. As far as the bottom, excellent. Here we got door poppers here, so on, and, and they work, so okay. one and two. All right. Third one. Okay. There you go. Which one did you get there? Here I kinda go. hit them all. One's for that door. <laughs> there you go. All right, is this one here? Yep, right there. Yeah, two. Okay. Too many buttons. Too many buttons. What are the other two for? Who knows? Anyway, as far as the, well, the detail guy, didn't do a very good job on the door jam here. Come on, Charlie. Anyway, corner of the door is perfect. Very nice, never had any work done to it. And what I like about it, this car does not have AC with all that mm -hmm. power, but it's got the cloth interior and it's like new. Yeah. So the only bad thing about cloth interiors in a video or pictures, it shows a little more like lighter color, but it's a nice yeah. dark black yep. in its beautiful shape. I mean, just brand new front, back, headliner, and uh, there you go, get out of the sun. Headliner and visors are great. You hold that up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the nice thing, like you hinted to, is the cloth when you it, get in on the hot day, that's it's not what as I was hot getting as the vinyl. To. Correct, that's what I was getting to. It's way cooler. Um, but the headliner, all the plastic pieces, the rear door panels, the GM seat belts, everything's like brand new. Back of the seat backs. You know, it's just super, super quality. Door panel's awesome. Laser straight paint, show quality. Love the dual exhaust sound, I love the look. Um, it's got a nice lowered stance to it. Back of the trunk lid's excellent. I don't really see crap for, well, now you pop this door open, do you? 
go popping. <clears throat> Just a little tiny little scratch right there. Very, very small by the end of my pinky nail. On bottom of the door, door is excellent. It's got one chip right there on the edge of the door and it's got one tiny, tiny little ding on the body line. Other than that, the paint body is gorgeous. Look at that, huh? Yeah, nice. Show quality paint there. Even that lip. Real solid trunk. That's a rust free car. Rust free car. Here's some more stuff for those poppers is all. That's what you have is that kit there. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get behind the wheel and drive this thing, shall we? Let's do it. Wanna pop my door, Big D? Atta boy. All right. So it does have a remote mirror as well. Driver's corner of the door, bottom of the door is great. And again, it's just so plush, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's like a brand new car interior. Um, door jam paint, as Dalton showed you on the passenger side, just as nice as the rest of the car on the back there. Whew, it's hot. It is hot, good thing we have cloth seats. They very well probably started with a 61,000 mile car. Very possible, Yeah. right? Obviously the interior has been restored and paint and you know it's been all done, but it's got a really nice body. Beautiful dash, factory tack gauges, clock even works here. That's crazy. Yeah, gas gauge works. We filled that up the other day. All right, let's turn the key on and see what we got here. Heater fan is all complete and it all moves, but does not work. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's a FedEx truck. Here's your, here's your electric fan. On off, okay. We'll go ahead and uh, turn that on a little bit. Power windows work great. Let's go ahead and try those. Driver side, radio works too. Look how nice it seals. Seals up really nice, especially if I had my door shut. How about you? You go down damn fast. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's annoying. annoying. No. That's not good, but it, it does work. All right. Horn works. Wipers work. Factory tack works. Factory amp gauge and gas gauge work. If you don't know about the original um, factory temp gauge. But you got them down there. Yep, it does work down here. Oil pressure from 60 to 80 pounds. Volt gauge works as well. Get that electric fan going. Have you works. tried that already? Yeah. And radio's got Bluetooth, and you got a little speaker deal up there for um, you know talking. Uh, dome light does not. Dome light's the only thing there. It doesn't work. This motor runs so nice. I'm excited about this one. You ready to hold on again? Ready. We've got an awesome lineup of just fast muscle cars. We started with that Impala Super Sport, then that freaking badass 67 Camaro. And now Next we're checking out a 73 Nova Camper. It's not fast, fast but it's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. This thing gets loose. It does. I mean, it just completely skates. Yeah, it's sweet. Now we just got done driving that 67 Camaro. That thing just hooked and went, but this is kind of more fun because it's kind of exhilarating. Yeah. You know what it I mean? Is. Even it though is. the other one might be a little faster. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't hook quite as good. Sitting in idling right now at uh, 500 RPM. I one chair in the cooler, I'll set it there. All right. Grandpa. Grandpa likes that Camper Nova we got. <laughs> Camper Nova. <laughs> <laughs> Miss that shift a little. That's right, they're all different. All it takes a few miles to get these two. Two thousand here's what's cool about it. All that power, you know, it's got a built small block aluminum heads. We're doing twenty two hundred RPM at fifty five mile an hour right now. As far as our brakes go. Stop really good. nice pedal, a little pull left, nothing major. Really nice firm pedal, you stop nice. It's got such a good sounding exhaust. It too. does, so as we're going through the gears, we're gonna do 
nice 3500 RPM shift. I mean, this 65 mile an hour drives perfect. Down to third, back up, nice. This yeah. thing flies, handles good too. It's a good car. Great to the higher speed. Yeah. And you gotta make sure you check out the undercarriage pitch. It's really impressive underneath just how solid this Camaro is. Let's just go through the gears real nice and easy. Kind yeah. of show everybody's first. I mean, it's one of the nicest factory shifters, you know? Second, fourth, and we're gonna go synchro third, second, first. Nice, good All car. Right. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and we'll see you on the next test drive.